Hey everybody, uh, yesterday I received another package. Now, sorry for clout everybody, but I have actually been lucky enough to buy a Hypercam 183C Pro Pro Tech. So, I just thought I'd do a quick unboxing and show you what's in the box and maybe compare it size wise to the old 183C Hypercam Pro as well. So I did say I'd do a little bit of an unboxing so what did the Hypercam come with and how was it packaged etc. So it came in this box just a standard box um, that was inside another box so it was packaged really well that it actually comes in this really cool armoured case which is very much like a pelican case so what did it come with? it came with a 3 pin power supply the camera itself which I'll leave in there the rest of the power supply two-inch nose piece with cap extra desiccant sachets and a USB 3 cable and as you can see it fits quite nicely in the case um, I will get the, the three pin plug to fit in there as well but this is literally how it arrives I ordered um, via Trim Gastronomy um, but it actually was delivered direct from Altair themselves I um, placed the order on I think it was Monday morning and by Tuesday morning it had arrived so that's pretty fantastic service on both parts there really So first things first, this is a monster. Um, there were various comments on the Astro forums yesterday when I posted a picture of it of, about how large it is um, and having it in hand I don't think I'd realise quite how big it is, especially when you compare it to the other Hypercam. Now if I just sort of get these together, that's quite a sizeable difference there if I turn it this way quite different again and yeah it's it's a bit of a beast I'm not gonna lie I'm looking forward to getting it on my telescope and getting everything all balanced up um, but while we're here I just thought I'd go through a couple of the features so we have some extra USB ports now I didn't realise until I've sort of reread the spec, but it has an internal USB hub which you can use to plug, for example, your guide cam in. Now my telescope setup is an absolute rat's nest, so anything that can help with my cable management is a bonus to me. The old Hypercam had a ST4 port for guiding as well, even though it's you know a bit overkill to use this camera for guiding. This one doesn't have one, so there'd be no guiding via ST, ST4 um, there. The sensor in each in each um, Hypercam is exactly the same size. It's, it is the same sensor. It's a Sony IMX183 uh, series sensor and it is seriously sensitive. As you can see on my other video um, I've had some fantastic results with some seriously not that long integration times. The reason I've gone for the um, the ProTech is basically I'm, I'm quite lazy with my calibration frames so especially darks. Um, I wanted extra time to be imaging outside rather than taking 
uh, thermal matched um, darks on this hypercam. I can now just create a library um, and I should probably operate down at minus 15 because apparently I think um, some guys have done some work, I think it's Nick from Altair himself has done some work um, having a look at the noise levels at the different temperature and beyond minus 15 I don't think you get much of a benefit so <laughs> as is the norm it's it's cloudy whenever somebody buys new equipment so the next few days I'm gonna spend making my own dark library so yeah can't wait to get this on my telescope and I'll uh, I'll give you some pictures of it but yeah I'll just leave you with this quick shot of what it's like it's a pretty impressive camera